your attitude outside of the praise and worship. Y'all better recognize that you call the leadership. Ain't no way in the world. God said no. A makeover in Jesus. Touch your neighbor and say a makeover in Jesus. Come on, somebody. And then the more you get, the more he'll show you. But you don't have to have a lot of money to get a makeover. You just need change. That's it. Change. Now, you need to get yourself involved in some money management classes. Get your children. Start teaching money management to your children. The concepts and the precepts about savings and money. And if you don't know, then you need to find out. Amen. Don't be offended. Don't say, well, she's just trying Amen. to preach and trying to get us. No, no, no. Amen. After you gone, your kids got to live in this earth Amen. after you gone. Amen. And how it is now is not what it's going to be in 10 years. No. No. Am I helping somebody? Yeah. Don't you just assume that it okay? No, it's it's gonna get progressively worse. Somebody say amen. amen. You have to teach them how to now not bounce checks. Amen. You have to teach them how to avoid the check cash in places that take four percent. You gonna have to tell them how not to get blackballed at the bank account so they can get a bank account in their own name. You're going to have to close them accounts that's in that name that you're running up. Because you done messed your credit up. you have to teach them about bankruptcy. Huh? You didn't have the deposit. So that's why you're in the rut. So now your job is to make sure they don't get in the rut. Huh? Oh, this is good gospel right here. Y'all quiet. I know I'm going to stay right here. This is good, good preaching right here, mama. Jesus ain't owe nobody. He ain't owe nobody no money. He needed money. He went to that fish and got it out. He went right on his savings account. Taxes do go right on my savings account. Huh? Some of y'all got land and all that stuff. God was speaking to me. He said, some of y'all got land and all that stuff. That family have either left you or going to leave you. And you won't even know what to do with it. You'll lose it because you ain't paid the taxes on it. They're going to take it and turn it into a multi-million dollar company property. Build big buildings on it right where your grandpappy and your man were slaves at. Because you don't see the value of the property. Yes. Jesus. Won't pay the taxes. A few hundred dollars for tax. Ain't no whole lot of tax down here in South Carolina. I know it because y'all ain't even got no red lights. <laughs> so I know the taxes ain't high. <laughs> you better put it in them. Make them aggressive financial management people. Stop trying to, you know, hold back and then when somebody come to them with a hustle, they on the first train to hustle. When in the end, at the end of the hustle, they lose all the money, they lose all the cars, they lose all the women, and they lose their freedom too. Please tell them the truth. I got a cousin right now back in prison again. Yeah, you made money for a minute, but the lawyer took half and you still went to jail. You got a criminal record, came out, they let you out. You had difficulty finding a job. You went back to hustling, got caught again, and you back in there again. Amen. You better teach these children about relationships. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to get no help in here. I better turn my back. You better start teaching them about players, male and female, because some of these little girls is off the chain. My son brought one home. Y'all had to forgive me, saints. I called that girl so many names. The seed of Chucky. I sure did. I was hot. I couldn't stand that little thing would be out all times in the morning. 14 years old. Climbing up the staircase trying to see my son. He, I would have him in bed. She would be all out there on the railing because we lived in an apartment. She would be all climbing up on the rail and knocking, trying to get him. I would say, don't have nobody at the house. I come home, he would have her and some other people in the house. 